Hey guys, my name is Jay from iEatWebsite.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is a WordPress plugin that will help you to build your websites in minutes. And that's it. Let's see what we can do. So I already installed Beaver Builder plugin in my WordPress. And right now I want to see it in action. So my homepage is empty. So I want to go there and I actually want to add some stuff here. So the first thing I notice is that I have a new tab right here called page builder. I'm going to click on it. Let's see what happens. All right. So because your page is empty, if your page is empty, they're going to give you these options right here. They have already some templates that you can use and you, you can just click on it and it will automatically add it to your page. But I'm going to show you this later. Here on the right, you have a couple options. You have your row layouts, you can add columns, you have your basic models, the modules, uh, you have advanced modules and WordPress widgets. You can save rows, you can save modules, and you can have it just everything right there. For now, I'm going to show you the basic stuff. So for example, you can just drag how many columns you want. Right now, I want three columns. All right. And you can go then to basic modules. And for example, you can add HTML, you can add, you can add text. And for example, we can add text. And you can, I don't know, write whatever you want. And as you can see, is updating everything for you. All right. Let's center this. And you can save it. That easy. All right, so I'm going to duplicate this. As you can see, if you hover, you have a couple options. You can move it. You can edit. You can duplicate and you can edit the column, All right? So right now I'm going to move it right here and I'm going to duplicate this one too and move this one right here. All right. So we have three columns with some content in it. Of course, this is nothing. You can put whatever you want. Right now, maybe I want to add some icon here. So let's say these are my three main services. So I'm going to go to click here and add content. And let's see in advanced modules. All right. So we have an icon here. I'm going to drag it right there. All right. Let's click on select icon. And they give you uh, tons of options with icons here, All right? So let's say I want the Apple logo right here. There you go. You have it. Let's see. I want to change the style. Um, maybe the color. Maybe to an orange something. Okay. Uh, let's see what else the size let's do like 100 pixels a little bit bigger there you go and the alignment I want to center all right so I'm happy with that I'm gonna click Save that's it beautiful actually I'm going to duplicate the logo or the icon I can say and I can just click on the icon so I can go and edit. I'm going to replace it. And let's see what else we can put there. I don't know. Let's say cake. Birthday cake. All right. Let's see how it's looking. Awesome. Save. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate it. 
move it, put it right here. Replays and uh, let's see what else we have. I don't know. Mail. All right, save. So let's say uh, these are my three main services. I am an Apple uh, engineer and I make cakes and I send m emails or mail. Those are my, my, my main services, okay? So that was pretty easy. But right now, I don't have any idea what to do. So I'm going to click on templates. And let's see what options we have. Because I don't, I don't have any idea how I want my homepage. So let's see what we can do. All right, so I like this one. I'm going to click on it. It's gonna say you wanna append it or you wanna replace it. So you know what, I want to replace it because I don't want those three icons um, and that info looks weird. So you know what, I'm gonna replace it right now. Yes. And look at this beauty, look at this. It feels like my homepage is like 90% done, really. I just have to change the content, like add my images. Look at this. Um, so it's awesome. Let's look at another template. Let's see how they look. Uh, let's see this one right here. Replace. Okay. Look at this. This is awesome, right? So let's say I like this one. So the only thing I have to do is change whatever I want to change. For example, let's say I want to keep these things, but I want to change uh, this text. I just click on it and change it. All right, so yes, as you can see, change it right here, my own text, whatever. All right, save it. There you go. All right. If you hover the row, you have the options to change that row and um, as you can see, when you hover everything, you have the option to change that. Okay. Which is pretty easy and useful for people that doesn't know how to code. And actually you can build a website in one hour or less using this page builder. Okay. And as you can see, let me take a look. is responsive. Awesome. All right. So I'm happy with it. Let's say I change everything. Of course, you are not going to keep uh, this content. You're going to change images, info and everything. So if you're happy with it, you just click done and click on publish changes. That's it. Your website is up and running. Okay. Your home, my homepage is looking awesome. And right now I wanna edit my about me. Let's see what I have there. So as you can see, I have this content right here and I have a title. So actually I wanna edit this page with the page builder, All right? Let me go back and show you what I did. I just click on page builder right here and it just went and opened all the options. So right now I have all the options to edit the text and add something else. So let's, let's do the same thing. I'm going to add a template, 
but this time it's gonna be a content page template right here, right? So you have all these options like about us, services, portfolio, business contact, questions, gallery, pricing, all this cool stuff for business that they really need. So right now I am in my about us page and this is what I need. I just, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna replace my existing layout, okay? Look at this. I'm gonna close this right, right here so I can see it. And there you go. My theme already have a uh, title, so I can remove this one from here. But if you don't have a title, you can just leave it there and create your own title, your sub subtitle, and all this content right here. And let's say I want to keep adding stuff. I'm going to click on templates, content pages, and I want to add some services, so let's click on our services. This time I'm gonna append the layout, so I don't I don't want to remove what I have right now. I want to add that content, so I'm gonna append it. Let's say, and here you see. Look at this beauty. That's awesome. So this style font is not coming with the page builder this is coming from my theme okay so don't get confused this font you will not have it it was it's not going to be available for you this is a font that i added from google to my theme to my wordpress theme and it's right there so it's getting it's getting my font from my css file okay and um that's done now i have to just re replace all all this stuff with my content and i'm good to go all right so you can hear now let's say i i i like this kind of uh setup and template maybe i use it in the future so you can save it and then you will have it right here in your templates all right so let's say I want to add something like a video for example I think video is on the advanced modules right here let's see if, if it's somewhere here it's not here Oh, here is video. All right, so I'm gonna drag it. I want my video, um, yeah, maybe there. All right. So you can select if you have an uh, MP4 format or you have the video, like you can upload the video on your WordPress and put it right there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, uh, embed my video from a, from YouTube because my video is in YouTube and I want to put it right there. I, I don't want to upload my video to my server and then put it there. So I need the code and I have it right here. YouTube will provide the code for you very easily. So I have the code here. I'm going to copy the code and paste, paste the code right here. Right. And I'm going to save it. And look at my beautiful video. And by the way, this is my video on how to convert HTML to WordPress. So if you want to see it, go to my channel and, and uh, let me know if you like it or if you need more help. I'm here to help you. And um, I think we're done with this. I think we're done. Of course, I have to replace all this content but it's looking good I like it so I'm gonna click on done and publish
And here's my beautiful About Us page. Awesome. All right. So I think those are the basics with a Beaver Builder. I love the page, this page builder. It's very easy. They have a ton of options. Of course, uh, I'm only giving you the basics, but they have all these modules, all these advanced modules here, like posts, sliders, slideshows, social buttons, even subscribe forms. Actually, let, let's see how this sub subscribe form works. Let's drag it in there. All right, so service and look at this. They have all these options right here. So you can go and choose email and it's gonna go to your email just like a regular form, but you can choose all these things right here. For example, MailChimp. A lot of people use MailChimp, so this is pretty easy. You have to uh, add your account name and your API key, which is provided by MailChimp. And they have a free version of it. Look at this, the sex this is awesome. This is amazing. So yeah, uh, this page builder is amazing. I like it a lot. Go and try it out. They have a demo version that you can use and try it out before buy it. It's not free, but they have an amazing support. It's an amazing plugin. And if you don't know how to code, this is gonna help you a lot. And that was awesome and quick. If you wanna download the plugin, I'm gonna add a link below in the video description. If you wanna use the theme that I used, comment below and I'm, I'm gonna send you a link so you can download that theme. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you wanna learn more and see you next week with another cool video.